Hello, this is Tinker Smile. The problem we choose is unfair distribution of sheep feed. To start the presentation, let us introduce ourselves. Our members took these roles for this project. At first, we organize the problems and put them together if we can solve them together, like this. We asked the shepherd for further understanding to design our solution. Our mentor helped us a lot to understand the problem. After the progress of brainstorming, we came up with our solution. Our solution contains four different ideas. First, automatically classifying the sheep into three groups. Second, changing the structure and the location of the feeder and water drum. Third, automatically rebuilding the water drum. And finally, using solar energy for a sustainable energy source. It's our conceptual sketch. Work members ask other shepherds about our idea and we got feedback. We bought all the materials for our product. We also made modeling files of the parts, then we print them out with a 3D printer. We also used different kinds of tools to make a product. Finally, we made our product which contains all our solutions. Let's take a deeper look at the details. The first solution is to classify the sheep in the three groups of sphenoid size to assure equal access to nutrition. When all the sheep of different sizes are kept together as before, bigger sheep interrupt when the smaller one gets fed, and it causes unequal access to the food. But when you keep the sheep with similar size together, they are friendly to each other, not fighting over food. We set the three ranges of weight and made three separated cages inside the barn. When the shepherd weighs the sheep one by one on the low cell, one of the doors is opened automatically where the sheep belongs to. In making a weighing and automatic door opening system, we use the low cell, saw motors, and the Arduino board. We apply the rag and pinion system to open the door. When the gear operates in clockwise, the gate will be opened. And when it operates counterclockwise, it will be closed. Let's see how it works. The shepherd gets the sheep one by one onto the low cell. This is low cell that measures weight of sheep. The barn is separated into three sections for small size, medium size, and large size sheep. Then let's measure sheep's weight. When the sheep is small size one, the first gate will be opened. And the sheep passes the gate, it is closed. On the same basis, Let's measure the other ship's weight. When you measure a medium sized ship, the second gate is open. And when you measure a big sized ship, the third gate is open. By this system, we can classify the ship into three groups according to their weight. Our second solution is to change the structure and location of the feeder and water drum. The location of the feeder requires the shepherd to enter the barn, thus causing sheep to scramble and be difficult to reach. Also, the feed distribution method was random. We placed the feeder near the windows so the shepherd can feed them through the window. Also, we placed different size scopes which can measure the feed per sheep. So the shepherd can feed the sheep according to their size accurately. And to avoid the sheep from passing the feeder, we made bar barrier. Furthermore, the water drums are not clean and their location causes them to be polluted. According to the shepherd, they don't even clean the water drum. For this problem, we chose to adopt both tie water feeder, not to be polluted. Because the water only comes out when the sheep drinks it and not open to the air, the water can keep its sanitation. The next solution is an automatic water refilling system. In addition to the bird drinker, we applied an automatic water refilling system to it. When I asked the shepherd how often he fills water, his answer was twice a day. Because the water drum was located inside of the barn, he had to get in carrying a heavy water drum. So, with a water lift sensor, water pump, and Arduino, we made an automatic water refilling system. Let's see how it works. This system is composed of sensor, water tank, pump, and water bowl. When the sensor cannot detect water, the water pump inside the water tank will be activated. When water reaches to the sensor, the pump stops working. When we push the water bowl, 
water will come out. If the water level becomes lower than the location of the sensor, the pump will be reactivated to rebuild water. So that's how we can provide water automatically. Finally, to operate all our systems, we chose to use solar energy for a sustainable energy source. We installed solar panels on the roof, and they charged storage batteries with our electricity. It's our final product. It was great experience to the project shop with brands from different countries. It would be perfect if we could meet up in Morocco, but just wishing the situation gets better. Thank you for listening.